Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be the princess tag. Um, the drugstore princess tag I should say. Uh, i seen this on Maria Sparkle's channel. I will link her video down below. It's basically the drugstore version of the video that Tati did which was all about high-end products and your favourite high-end products from each category for your face. So this is the drugstore or high street version of that. So I thought I would give it a bit of a bash and let you know my favourite drugstore products from each category. So we'll start with foundation and my current absolute love is my number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation. I've done a review on this, I'll link it down below. I absolutely love this at the minute. Um, I would wear it most days. I'm actually wearing a different foundation today because weekly makeup basket I'm determined. But really really like this for us all your girls. I really like it. If you're looking for a slightly cheaper version the Revlon Colour Stay is pretty close. Um, but the colour matches better for me with number 7. Um, so I will always probably get this one. Um, favourite drugstore concealer. And this would definitely be it. It's my 17 for paint. And it's quite a nice. This is in the shade Fair. I've had this for such a long time. It's looking a bit grubby. Probably don't look too close at that. Um, this is just really good. It covers pretty much everything. It's a really good heavy duty concealer. I always keep it in my bag because if my foundation slips in any way during the day, I whip this out and it basically acts as a touch up foundation. So you can cover most blemishes, I would say. Yeah, I've actually covered, I've said it before, where I've had my lip threaded and covered that redness with this. No problem, absolutely no problem at all. So this is a fantastic touch up foundation or concealer to have and it works really well. I do use it under my eyes, it's a wee bit heavy for there, but it's great for the rest of your face. I think it's actually heavy duty under eye concealer, so it is made for your under your eyes, it's just maybe my eyes are a wee bit too wrinkly, but this is a really good concealer. Um, powder, I don't have a drugstore powder. I did briefly own, not briefly, for quite a while, the e.l.f. tone correcting powder, and it was okay, it just wasn't right for me. I've not actually found a drugstore powder that I absolutely love or that I've kept. Basically I use my Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil, I have that, and I've got my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, so I don't own any at the minute unfortunately. Um, Favourite drugstore bronzer. I don't have a high street or drugstore bronzer. I've just done a big purge, so I've actually got rid of the one bronzer that I did have from the high street. However, I have a contour and it's the NYX blush and taupe. I've been using this for the past maybe week on enough every day I've used it today. I only use it quite lightly but I really like this. This is a lovely lovely contour so for you pale girls that are looking for a good contour there's something that really mimics the shadows it's this blush and taupe. Really like it. So far so good. I can see what the fuss is about now. Um, Highlight. My favourite highlight would be, this is from number 17 and it's the three way highlighter. It's a skin wow three way highlighter. And you can use this as a primer, you can use it mixed in with your foundation or you can use it just as a highlighter all by itself. So it is a really good multi-use multi product and it's under a fiver and it's just a really nice highlighter. It is a wee bit on the sort of silvery side of things, you can sort of see there. But as long as you're careful with it, it's nice. I like it. Drugstore blush. I have two. First, I will just mention it because everybody knows about them, the sleek blushes. I really like them. Um, I will probably continue to buy more of them. I have a wee palette and I have some more there. But a product that probably doesn't get mentioned much is this Fashionista. Uh, the Fashionista blushes. Now I'm thinking they've got taken over by MUA which was a wee while ago so I'm not sure if they're being still if they're still being sold like this but you can buy them individually and then you make up a palette and they're really good. They have got good pigmentation they're also you can have highlighter shades like these ones these are marbleized and they're kind of like a highlight so I really like them I would recommend them do you know they're really good pigmentation? They're dirt, dirt cheap. You're talking maybe two to three pound a blush, if even that. So would recommend checking those out. And that's a great wee palette. You buy the palette separately. Big decent mirror, and you know, it's nice and compact. Really like that. Really good. Now, 
Um, eyeshadows. For eyeshadows, again, I have two. I, have, of course, love my sleek palettes, and I have a few of them now, I think. But really recommend them. They're usually good pigmentation and a good range of colours, so always good for your collection. For single eyeshadows, I grab my number 17 because I love these. These are great. They're generally, these ones are all sort of shimmery shade. That's a rose quartz. And what else do I have here? Funfair, which is lovely for summers. Peachy, shimmery colour. There's just loads and loads of colours available, a lot of choice available. They're pretty pigmented. There is a bit of fallout, but they're really, really good. I use them all the time. They don't irritate my eyes or anything. And for cream eyeshadows, I've kind of done three wee categories there. Um, I have the 17... This is my favourite. It's the Wild Nude Cream Shadow from Seventeen. I love that one. I use it quite regularly. And then there's the Maybelline Colour Tattoos. The Maybelline Colour Tattoos are great. I have so many of them and I generally use them. Actually, I started to use them quite a bit more. So I would recommend these as well. Good colours. Um, there's still quite a few colours available. It's hard to sometimes find them in the shops because they're not well stocked all the time. But they're a good, good cream shadow. Eyeliner. It's not going to come as any big surprise, but my favourite eyeliners are the Rimmel eyeliners. I again have multi different, uh, multi colours. Um, I have the different versions, so you've got the scandalised one and hit this one, so this is a soft cold pencil, and I've just got some of the other ones as well. These are really good. The Rimmel ones, they're dirt cheap and they're worth checking out. And another one that's really good is the NYX pencils. I have two of these I picked up at iMats, and I would love to get my hands on some more. They're just so soft and such nice colours and nice and easy to work with. Great colours all together. Now, mascara. For mascara, I think I would recommend the Maybelline mascaras. I have this one, it's the Rocket Volume. And I do like it, it's not my favourite. Um, my favourite would probably be the Cat Eyes one. I really, really liked it. But this one's actually really good. I like pairing this with other mascaras, it works really well. So, Maybelline as for mascaras is just generally pretty good. Lip liner. Now again I have two for lip liners. I have a Barry M lip liner. This is really good. It's just in red. You can see it's well used. I've got it's all smeared all over the place. I like this one. I think it is the shade 3. Um, I really like it. Recommend checking them out. And this has worked really well. It's lasted well. I should probably use it more. I generally forget to use it properly when I'm using red products. And the other lip liner, it's from Rimmel. I like these one, these wee twist up ones. Really enjoy these, they're a nice colour. This is a beautiful nudie shade. It goes well with so many different colours. This is East End Snob. This is one of my favourite pencils. Lipstick. For lipstick, I'm going to have to go with my Revlon lipsticks. I've only got three here for you. I have quite a few more in my drawer. It's just a really great range. You get different finishes, like you have pearl finishes. So this beautiful red, that has a slight pearl finish to it. That's Cherry Blossom. And then you have other ones that are a cream finish. And this is, I've only worn this a few times actually. It's Vava Violet. And that's a cream finish. Beautiful dark purpley colour. They're great lipsticks. They wear really well. There's a good colour range. There's a nice um, selection of the finish. So, you know, you get different finishes and stuff. And they were really well, and I just generally enjoy using them. As I said, I've got quite a few more. They're just lovely colours and lovely to use and a good price. Shorted. The last category is lip gloss. For true lip glosses, I only have a few. I've got one wearing one today, and I'm not actually the biggest fan of it, but I should have worn one of these. My favourite lip glosses are the L'Oreal Glam Shine, and I've got two here. These aren't sticky, they're just lovely and creamy. Um, I've only tried, as I, said, as I said, the two, but I will probably try some more at some point. I have the shade Magnetic Nude Glow, which is a lovely neutral shade to pop over anything. And this one is in Juicy Rose Glow. And that's a lovely pale one to pop over pinks and things. But these are it, really good lip glosses. They were wet, had that stickiness to them, so my hair isn't forever stuck to my face, which is annoying. But yeah, they're a good lip gloss. I would recommend checking them out. They're the Glam Shine from L'Oreal. So that is it for this drugstore princess tag video. If you'd like to do it, um, please do, and let me know down below, and I can check out your video. That would be really cool. 
Uh, as I said, I will link Maria's video in the description box. I'll put that in down below and the categories as well so you can check out which ones I'm doing and I've done a blog post so you can have a closer look at the pictures there as always. And what else? Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. I'm sorry I'm a bit flat, I'm a bit under the weather but we're going to be fine so if I'm not as bubbly woohoo as normal you know what's happened. But that is it, so thank you very, I think I've said that is it about five times now, but that is really it. So I'm going to shoot on. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in my next video.